Hi there, my name is Elena and today I want to show you our home, our apartment in London and my favorite objects. And we live in Shoreditch, it's artistic district, really love to be here because you are surrounded by all beauty that you can find in East London, in artistic London, a lot of artists, photographers, designers living here. And we really enjoy and spend a lot of time in this area. We have one bedroom apartment. It's like a big living space, small tiny kitchen that I really love that it's tiny and separate bedroom. And our living room is also our workspace. So here is my workspace that we decided to separate. Previously we had only one table for my work and for Dima's work work so we changed and was enough for us but then we decided to separate tables get to two different tables because Dima has a lot of music stuff I have a lot of art stuff and let's I will show you <laughs> so here is my desk let's start from art supplies I have it's prints that I'm working on now for my Etsy shop a lot of my uh, sketchbooks that I use for my daily daily sketches and a big one here as well and also I store all my favorite books on the table as well so here is Alona gifted me uh, and I love to draw different plans from here so I don't need to computer or something just can open book and draw for, from it also here I have a lot of art supplies as you see my gouache here a lot of different stuff that I'm storing storing like that but it's okay because you don't see it when you are sitting also I have a lot of pencils different different pencils this one is from Muji that one from uh, our local art uh, store. I will do another art supply video. So we'll show all my art supplies and also different different stuff here. And that one is from Victoria, Victoria and Albert Museum. I just bought a gingerbread and decided to keep it for all my stuff. Also here I have magazines and it's like Parts that you can see a lot in my videos and also beautiful small creatures that Dima gifted me when like four years ago so I keep them and it's on my table my favorite lamp from Zara home and my lamps and a lot of a lot of different books some of them I'm reading, some of them I'm using for drawing as well, like that one with birds. Let me show you. Here you can find a lot of different birds that I'm also drawing, so I don't need a Pinterest or something. I really love to open book and draw from it. Also more books and also art prints that I'm working on now in two different sizes. I really love the small one. What what do you prefer? Like when you have art in a big size or in a smaller one, I feel like that smaller looks better because you can see it like that and frame it. When you frame it, it will look beautifully more beautiful than a big one, but big one looks more impressive, I could say. Just let me know in the comments. And then I have book, a big one from Luke. I showed you in my previous videos about, about our new stuff that we have at home. And yeah, here is my desks. Now it looks like that with a beautiful light now. And on the right side, I have a small, <laughs> small antique um, place. It's all vintage and antique stool and like drawing, 
painting sorry z1 picture and small vases as well i really love it because when you are coming to the room you see it from a first first side and i really love this composition and sometimes i even change in it and here is my working chair uh, it's uh, locally made in the UK and I really love um, <laughs> that packaging. It's like packaging that we decided to left because it looks amazing, looks so good, love it. From this perspective you can see our sofa and Dima's vinyl um, player and a lot of a lot of vinyls we not sit on the sofa so often to be honest so we are thinking about changing it but i still love it it's part of sofa and i'm storing my <laughs> my new barbour jacket here really wait to uh wear it it's uh, second hand i could say pre-loved <laughs> from pantone i bought it on a depop for 15 pounds with in a dif d beautiful uh color and can't wait to wear it wear it i love how it brings color to the room so i decided to left it on a sofa here also we have a beautiful handmade uh, rug from a designer. It's actually a kilt and I want to put it um, on, a, on a wall, but for now it's on a floor and I really love it how it brings color to, to the room as well. And here is also a drawer that we store uh, our stuff, uh, our lenses uh, for our cameras, also small things that we need when we go out, also our watches, we just bought a new uh, a new storage for it because it was not enough. Uh, Dima's book about watches and my book, love this book, from National Gallery, uh, all art pieces that National get not all, but most of them are in this book and sometimes when I don't have a time to go to a gallery, I'm just sitting and spending time with this book and how it looks now and also a vintage picture that I bought I bought in some countryside but don't remember I have three of them with different scenery we'll show it in other rooms so yeah how it looks like all together previously it was not that beautiful but finally I got a uh, time to spend on it and now it looks like that here is a Dimas desks more minimalistic and more with technical stuff that Dima spent a lot of time on music, spent a lot of time playing and recording music, also he's designing here <laughs> on his laptop with a big monitor. And I have a lot of, a lot of winter stuff <laughs> here on the floor, so I don't have any space without a vintage. Because here you can see I have a green space and a lot of antique under it. <laughs> so here is my uh, Karbovanets. It's Ukrainian money from 100 years ago. I store it in a beautiful frame like an original one i bought it and found it on etsy and decided to frame it because it looks so beautiful and also another one with the horses i really adore everything with horses so here is a picture that we have also it's a stool uh, also winter stool that we bought and found on a brick lane Really love it because it's big and we can store all our greens on it and it brings really beautiful character to the room. So it's not a modern stool but more like antique winter stuff. And I really love to store small small stuff on the floor as well. So I really 
not a big fan of clean and clear space so i love when you have everything on the floors here as well so i bring all my small stuff here and i love it because it's more about vibrance it's more about my home not home for instagram also here we have more greens and another my antique I guess it's 120 years ago was drawn and yeah I decided to frame it small piece of drawing it's a beautiful creature and also a vase when we don't have any flowers or we don't have anything to put in a vase I just put vases like that <laughs> here and I love it also, as you can see, I'm storing some of my plants directly into water. So I just figure it out because it's more easier. You don't need a soil. You can just change water and uh, you don't have any bugs. It's okay. It's not um, like it's, it's not uh, flowers. So it has roots and it gives more roots when you're changing uh, your water and sometimes it looks more even interesting than into soil. Close to my table I also have an art. When I worked in partnership editions I bought it, uh, bought it there from artists that we worked with and also here on a um, um wall i have my own art i just drew it when i came home from paris in a train and i decided to frame it because i really loved that drawing how it looks like in a massive big frame and also another one from antique small antique store that i frame it on top of frame that frame i bought it in oxfam it's like a charity shop for like i don't know 10 pounds and put that fabric on top of it so it's on top of the frame and you see the texture it's like a i don't know it was a educational piece of uh, piece of fabric I guess but I really love how it looks like here together with my art as well and it's our bedroom uh, as you see we don't have any any walls without art at all so when I it, it, that one that picture was on a wall uh, above my table but I decided to put it here I like to move it around and it's another picture that I showed you in the living room but with another scenery I framed it with a bespoke um, mountain and yeah love it love it here also it's our tv it's a vertical but when you are turning it on it do like that like a normal one and here we go we have a youtube and tv here as well and when you turn it off it goes like that also here is my bed table and also my a lot of antique beautiful stuff that i really love that one is a old vintage comics with deer and guy who playing golf that one is from 18th century uh, scenery of hunting and i have two of them i bought it in different different places but really really love the frame and it's in a silk so it's not a painting it's like a made by hand with silk also on the table i have uh, my favorite lamp and my books and that i'm reading i have few of them and also i always store a small notebook here so i have my ideas always with me when i want to think about anything or i want to write something or i want to um like do journal i do it here in in my bed and i also store small stuff like um oils or 
Uh, it's a, a local from Nails Yard. That one is from Soho Home. And also a small coaster that we take from Harrods. So yeah, like that. Nothing, nothing minimalistic or sterilic, just like how it is. And also on this part of um, bed, from Dima's side, we have a portrait of Duke of Wellington here and also a plate uh, about harvesting. It's all vintage in vintage framing and I like how it looks together. Also we have small tiny kitchen and on kitchen I have also vintage stuff. So it's the second one from uh, that one in a bedroom. Really love the scenery and really love how it looks like here uh, on a kitchen together. Here we have our sweets, my vitamins and I keep on kitchen everything minimalistic uh, as possible. And also on this part I have uh, a photo that Dima did on my birthday and another one uh, is art that I did recently like few few days ago and so I decided to frame it I need another amount here but still love it love to keep it here and to store our art at home and also we have a uh, wallpapers from our street from shortage so shortage being a um, like furniture and makers uh, area so here we have uh, wallpapers with it it's like from our landlord we didn't do it but it brings also a vintage antique vibe here also on the kitchen we have a shelf i'm storing my books some of my books here also we have a lot of interesting bottles that i'm storing like that different photos pasta that i bought uh, yesterday and on this side i also have an art it's also a vintage i store it here on the kitchen because i don't have enough space in a living room or bedroom anymore so i'm storing on the kitchen as well <laughs> So yeah, here is our apartment. I have and store a lot of antique and vintage stuff and I buy a lot and I really love to mix everything together that new pieces of furniture or um, something that we have at home with vintage and with antique and I really love to move everything around. So here on my table books going around all the time in the living space i also love to move uh, pictures around i love to put furniture in a different space so it's all flexible flexible and all uh, movable <laughs> i really love to to bring something familiar to a new space and it feels like you have a new stuff and yes, I talked in a previous videos about uh, I'm not a minimalist. Um, that's why, because I have a lot of beautiful stuff that I love. Um, not in terms of style or a color, I love because it's beautiful for me. And when I bring it home, I try to combine everything together. That's why it's everything different and in different color style but I feel like it's my way of keeping home more um, personal not from an Instagram from Pinterest but personal for me because all things that I have at home brings me or reminds me of sometimes some pieces we bought when we just moved some pieces are bought when i've been in a um, bad uh, mood i could say or in a when it was a beautiful moments in my life so everything around is about me about us about our family and it brings me joy to look at it to move it around and to have it and to keep it and hopefully it was interesting and if you want to ask or say something don't hesitate to leave your feedback in the comments and thank you so much for watching thank you see you next time <laughs> bye bye